Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to turn off Twitter's sensitive filter, or in other words, turn off your sensitive content on Twitter. It's actually very easy to do on your phones. Uh, all you have to do is go over to your Twitter application, open that up really quickly. Then you want to go to the top left corner where you see your profile picture, click on that. And then you want to click on settings and privacy. And now under settings and privacy, you want to go under your account where it says privacy and safety and click on that. And then if you scroll down under safety, you should see uh, something here saying that you want to turn off your sensitive content. If you do not see it on the application on your phone, do not worry. You can still turn it off on your phone. All you have to do is go over to your Safari and just log into your Twitter on Safari. Once you've logged into Twitter on Safari, just make sure it doesn't open up the application again. Make sure it stays on your website version of Twitter because then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change it to the desktop mode of the website. To do that on iPhone, you just want to click on the two A's on the top left of your screen and then click on Request Desktop Website. So I had mine on desktop right there, but all you have to do is click on that and then click on Request Desktop Website just like I just did. And then you want to go to the same place we did before on the application. You want to go over to your profile, scroll down and click on Settings and Privacy. And then you want to go to privacy and safety, scroll down, and then you will see under safety, it says display media that may contain sensitive content. So obviously I have mine checked on right here. If you want to turn it off, you just check that off. And then you want to go ahead and save it and you are good to go. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to turn off sensitive content on Twitter on your iPhones or mobile period. If this was helpful, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.